cast on his face. So I'm just going to tell you straight up the way it is. Here. I'm going to go ahead and start up my own uh, Rooster Man Wild Kingdom or whatever because it seems like the wildlife has been attracted to the Rooster Man as of late. Now, first off, Rooster Man about got at by a bear the other day. Now, I'm going to tell you what happened to him the other night. It all started out when Rooster Man forgot something in his truck. So Rooster Man goes outside to get something out of his truck, and it was dark at night time. Rooster Man heard something over in the bushes rustling around. The man says, Halt! Who goes there? They figured it might be a cat burglar or something. So, after he said, Halt! Who goes there? My golly, Jim Brown, he found out. He all of a sudden smelled something. Good Lord have mercy, it was a pole cat. I'm talking Pepe La Pew. Lord, he caught that rear up there, and he, he let fly. He didn't even hit Rooster Man, but that's just like a scatter gun. No matter what, never mind if you get hit. If you're just in a general area, you're man down, man down. Woo! Rooster Man take off running through there together. That's to wearing his mask here, because he can't even stand to smell himself right now. Anyway, you watch out for them skunks out there, poke at Now. The moral of Rooster Man's story, and it's a true story too, Jack, I'm going to tell you, is this. You hear wrestling around in your bushes or the woods, you better identify what it is before you yell halt who goes there. Because it could be a baby like you, Pokey. And if it is, it's just like Rooster Man said before, you don't have to be no direct hit. It's like a scattergun. Just get in a general area and man down, man down, man down. Woo! Listen up now, Rooster Man's telling you, because it's, it's good, vital, important information. You all have a good day out there. Cock-a-doo-doo.